and just talk about the excitement of the week for all, for you and the girls. Yeah, obviously elated to be playing in our first final series and to have a home final at Albert and Sunday Arvo is, um, yeah, it's awesome. And I know that ticket sales are going really well. So yeah, we've just encouraged all our Port Faithful to get out here on Sunday afternoon. What's the, what's the message been? Because obviously you're out there to win, but you obviously want the girls to have a, enjoy the feeling and what it all means and soak it all in. Oh, I have absolute confidence our players will enjoy the moment, um, particularly with our crowd here. It's, um, I'm sure you've been here in a home game. It's, it's a special thing. And um, I know that our group enjoys every opportunity they get to play. And it is pretty limited in this comp, having 11 game fixtures and now being able to play a final um, and hopefully more than one. It's um, yeah, something I have confidence the players will enjoy. And you know there'll be some natural nerves, but that means you care. Given that it's such a big achievement, how much do you kind of balance out of being such a big achievement, but also, you know, you're not there to make up the numbers in the finals? Um, I think, like, that's probably an external narrative around around what you've said. For us, our narrative all year and each week has been around how much better can we get as a team. And what I was referencing earlier is you do get such limited time on field against genuine opposition to, to get better and play good footy together. and. Um, you know, you look at the AFL men's season just gone and Brisbane being comp like incredible premiership winners. I think round 10 for them, that from memory, they were about 13th in the comp and we've just played round 11. So I think what's in front of us as an AFLW team is how much better can you get with every opportunity that you play and for us to get another one. Um, and we hope more. It's um, it, The lens still has to be how much better can we be and we've got areas after each game that we focus on. and. Um, hopefully we see some more improvement again after this weekend. So Richmond, Richmond this this Sunday. How do you kind of what do you learn from the previous loss to them, and <laughs> how do you how do you plan and how do you approach this week? It's funny. Like I'd normally feel like um, I could probably give a bit more away than I'd like to, but uh, I think if you go back and watch our round five game against Richmond, it was a Tuesday in Melbourne. We'd played Friday in Melbourne in horrendous weather against North and lost that one pretty heavily and. There were elements against Richmond that we're confident we've grown from since round five and referencing again like the fact that we look to be a better side each week that we play. There's certain areas we've definitely been better in and particularly in attacking our offence. I think Richmond play a pretty similar style to us in they're, they're very good on turnover offence and we gave them the footy back. Um, we gave them the footy back far too much in the middle of the ground last time we played and it allowed them to play really quickly off turnover and score a lot early. So. That's something we can address pretty quickly. And six straight wins after that, so a lot of confidence, I guess, going into Sunday? Oh, if winning six straight games in our third season as a team is, um, is something I'm, you take great confidence from. Um, and if anything, for the players, it's such a young group and each win in a, in a short fixture builds an enormous confidence. And particularly when you come out of a, a more challenging space of our fixture early in the season, um, you know, we. We lost round one to Adelaide, round three to Fremantle, and then round four and five, Richmond and North Melbourne. And so to come out of that, having won six in a row now, yeah, you'd, you'd expect a fair amount of confidence from a, from a young group. On reflection, was there anything about that game that kind of, you know, um, resulted in the winning streak? Like, was there any, like, any moment from that game where you're like, yeah, this is, you know, well, yeah, the winning streak's that happened? It's a really good question. Um, I do think it's it's natural maturity and time together as a group. Like you tick into a sixth game of the year, um, I think that does make a heap of difference. Like having had the five games and we had a couple of trial games with where we mixed the team around a fair bit, but finding some continuity with the group that we had on field. Julia Teagle has been injured for a chunk of that, but beyond that, we've had a lot of continuity in our team, and I think that matters. So there are some things that you take out of each game, and the Richmond game. Yeah, I, I honestly just think playing that next game after and having Carlton here at home was just an opportunity to put more things in place and embed more of our game style that we'd been working on up to that point. On the home ground, I think Ange said the other day, she reckons for might be a bit scared of coming to Alberton. I mean, is that something you hope, you think they might be, but also hope you can use Alberton as, you know, an extra kind of advantage? I think to be fair to Ange, there was um, some words put in her mouth that were never even said if you watch the press conference. So I think what needs to be said is that we have absolute respect for Richmond. Um, they beat us by 21 points in round five. And yeah, I think if you watch the press conference back, you'll notice Ange is referencing our people and our crowd and how special it is to play in front of our people here at Alberton. So yeah, we absolutely have respect for Richmond. They've been an incredible team for a couple of years now. and. Um, we're confident they'll put their best foot forward and we'll have to bring our absolute best footy on Sunday to beat them. How do you settle the nerves for the girls kind of leading up to 
Sunday and on game day, because I'm sure they're going to be a few nerves. How do you well, say harness? In, yeah, those in a good way. we've done a lot of work over over the last three years on how to work with nerves because we do have a young team and so <laughs> without a heap of experience in the group um, you work with that anyway week to week so yeah a lot of it for me is a mentality of if you're nervous you actually care about what you're doing and then you lean on some different things that they've learnt about how how to help each other on field because a lot of it is the energy that you provide for your teammates and there's small things we can do as coaches on game day but ultimately it's how the group comes together and looks after each other on game day and we've made enormous progress with that that to the outside eye probably isn't overly noticeable but to us is huge this year so I'd welcome the nerves from the playing group because they deeply care about their performance. You talked about a young group, but you get a lot of X factor. Do you think that's something that can be a difference on Sunday? I think both teams have heavy X factor. Um, you look at Conti and Mackenzie and Brennan in particular, and um, you know that's absolute star power. So for us, I think um, you know I noticed there's some been some all Australian predictions of teams in bits and pieces, and there's not a lot of Port Adelaide players in there, and. It disappoints me in a way because we have won seven games out of 11 and we've got a young group performing to a high level and you can't just purely base that on stats. We're a low possession team on purpose. And so I'd love for people to notice our performers are consistent across the group um, and perhaps maybe not a heap of girls that are going to roll out and get 30, but a wide range of con contributors across the team. So. That's something that also builds confidence in our group. On the other hand, you've got, what, six or seven? Was it six? In the six. Under, in the under, um, 22, under 22. I mean, how exciting is that when you think about this year, but also future years, like the young yeah. this year? It's super nice for the six who were named in that, um, I think it's a squad of 44 for 22, under 22 in the PA. So really exciting for them, exciting for us. I do think there's a couple more to come, like Lauren Young's rehabbing an ACL at the moment. Piper Windows had a really strong season. And again, if you look at a stats sheet, um, it's underestimated and I know a lot of people that pick those teams aren't based here in Adelaide and you know if I'd like to think that there's a couple more in our group that are going pretty well so pleased for them to be noticed and you know ultimately the attitude from that crew is they just want to be good teammates and play well for the group. And Matilda and Abby are ready to play this week and where's Julia's, um, where's Julia at the moment? Yeah, so Matilda and Abby, um, again, I saw some stuff that suggested they were rested last week against the Giants, which is inaccurate. Both were not fit to play last week and expect them to train well tonight and put their hands up for Sunday. Um, and Julia is in the same boat. She's done an exceptional job of being really diligent with her knee and she'll have an opportunity to train well tonight and hopefully put her hand up for selection on Sunday. And how important is that, the three inclusive, if they were all the, to be selected, how important is that to your team and... Um, I guess when you face Richmond this Sunday? I think all three have shown they're clearly in our best 21 and so particularly Julia being out um, the last few weeks there's been opportunities for others to step in and, and have to be fair to, to the group that's come in to the team they've really contributed and played their role um, and Julia's been a really consistent contributor for us over the last few years so um, you know you would have noticed some difference around stoppage for us against the Giants without Matilda and Abby there so yeah um, feeling positive that they'll train well tonight and put their hands up.